welcome to another awesome video. <laughs> Since we can't say that anymore. Epic video, wonderful video, educational video. Anyways, um, I just found this frozen watermelon, so I'm gonna try it. But first, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect smoothie for optimal health, beauty, and anti-aging. Start with peeling some organic bananas, because this is the best base and secret one of the secrets uh, to the perfect smoothie because it acts as a creamy base so you definitely not gonna want that and can you just keep it full for so long honestly so let's do it the other first thing you're gonna want to do is not have your dishwasher going while you're trying to make a YouTube video <sighs> what are you gonna do okay um I usually just like I said freeze all these and put them in a Ziploc bag because uh, it's nice to have the smoothies extra frozen, right? You want like that frappe consistency. So, um, but for today, I don't know. You might just have to. <laughs> I've done worse things on cam. I, you know, change a light bulb. <laughs> Be sure to check out that video it's next. So it's like we're into fall now, so I don't know how good this is gonna be. But. Kind of good. I don't know if I can mix it with the smoothie though. Maybe with some berries. Mm. Um, frozen fruit. I always have to have frozen fruit in my freezer. Um, like I said, like I like my smoothies extra cold. So, um, yeah. Usually you can only find like mango, blueberry, and like mixed fruit. But honestly, like before, if you go to those Asian supermarkets, they have so many good things. Like. Um, today at mine, like they had dragon fruit, but they didn't have golden dragon fruit, which you know is my favorite, my new favorite. So, um, my other little secret, like this one's like half used, but like, um, you can get these like pinwheel um, smoothie boosters, I guess, or like they're supposed to be like a smoothie in one, but I don't know. I just like I like taking a few, like making my regular smoothie, how I'm gonna make it, like mostly fruit based, and then uh, adding one or two of these in, like if I need extra greens or. Um, super berry, right? Berries, you can actually eat every day. Uh, if you want to follow Dr. Gregor, he's a plant-based doctor, and uh, you can get us a uh, daily dozen out. Like, it's, I used to for a bit, it was pretty good, but I'm like, I'll probably get with that. <laughs> um, but if you're trying to switch to plant-based, or um, you just want to like, make sure your nutrition is on point and really balanced. Like a cool little app, like, let's count uh, grains, fats, uh, plants, veg, whatever, right? Um, even even as a vegan, I find like I don't really get enough fruit um, unless I'm like packing in the smoothies. So mm. let's keep going. Okay, so um, my trend and true, honestly, I used to have a Vitamix, but it's like so big. So uh, these little magic bullets are actually so good. Not only do you get like just the proper portion size, but no, no, they're, they're pretty handy, and you can like tuck it away. So. Like if you're in a smaller space, it's actually really, really good. Plus you can like just seal the lid and take it to go. Mm -hmm. I want to do the berry one first, honestly. Get these bananas out of the way. Too many bananas in my life. <laughs> okay, so I did get some fresh, um, where is that? Some fresh, ooh, strawberry banana though. Oh my God. Oh my God. Change plan. I thought I'd just strawberry banana. It's like the number one smoothie flavor, apparently. Mm -hmm. I guess it's gonna be like a mostly smoothie day. Cause you can add like oats to them, peanut butter. Like you can make it a full meal, right? But I don't know, I like, I also like chewing my food. So um, I've only ever done one full juice day. <sighs> so, okay. Nice. Honestly, I suck at this YouTube game, but whatever. Um, that's why we do our hair and makeup, so it makes up for it. <laughs> okay, give me the knife. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah, so just cut off the top. So many, like a handful, right? Like that's a good measuring, that's like a good serving of fruit. And then half a banana, because banana flavor is really strong. Okay. Um, nobody eats enough fruit, nobody. Maybe the fruitarians. <laughs> this is such an interesting lifestyle. Um, 
anyone I've ever seen that has gone full, like, on just fruit, like, there's some athletes that do it too, it's pretty interesting. Um, like, I'm pretty happy being vegan. Mm. Mm. But any fruitarians that I met look pretty ageless, I must say. Stuff in that. Don't go overboard. Do not want to go past the fill line. <laughs> Trust. Okay. So I was thinking about um, different YouTube ideas. And uh, I was like, oh yeah. I'm supposed to be the bikini cooking fail girl, so. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully I can actually do, like, pull off a few things. I did do some really good cookies the other day, so. Um, but I mean, I got like, I'm gonna get like just one good wrap down. That'll be nice. The next secret ingredient, bam, coconut water. It is like a low calorie, electrolyte filled, tasty way to fill up your smoothies. Now you know. <laughs> All right. Or I'd say like half or a third. That's what you want to do. Do you want to add extra ice? Um, I that's me. See, we don't have any frozen elements to this one. So, I might have to add some ice. Ooh, or these little guys, the frozen. I just don't like how much plastic is with this, but I mean, if it's for the sake of eating plant based. Um, I saw this guy like bringing two fried chicken like from the supermarket and uh, I almost stopped to tell him to watch Earthlings or ask him if he's ever been to a slaughterhouse and I didn't so now I'm telling you guys because yeah, a <laughs> broader audience right? Okay, then we want, I think, a little bit of almond milk or soy, soy would be really good actually, yeah. Oh, see, this is already, this is as full as I'm gonna go. So, I'm gonna just fill that up. It's a little full, but not bad. Practice. Mmm. So, you could add like a little bit of a scoop of protein, but I mean, plants have everything you need, so. Let's do it up and see how it turns out. See, this thing is so quick. That wasn't even 30 seconds. But you can kind of tell by like when the uh, thing is dissolving. Like, and I'm making this video because like, you know what? I used to be bad at making smoothies. I used to just put everything in there. It was so much. Sometimes it wouldn't turn out. Like. <clears throat> So, the simplest, just like, you know, uh, half, third, frozen, uh, the coconut water is like the key, okay, and the frozen bananas, the, those are, yes. <laughs> mm. All the strawberries are good. Mm. Okay, I just remembered that I have some, it's called patai. Oh, it tastes so good. Oh my god, it's like a passion fruit. You know, like the start of the turn. <laughs> um, super frozen, it's super hard to get into, and it's, it stains a lot like beets, but um, citrus I feel is underrated. Uh, like I usually, I have lemon water almost every day. <sighs> so this one, again, a very strong flavor, you only make half. Um, yeah, this one turned out because it's more frozen. Um, let's get in those greens, because there's, I'm just trying to find a berry pack, but uh, it's cool, they have like turmeric ones. Turmeric looks super important in the fall time. Um, do we want to do mango? Yeah, why not? Mango blueberry taste pretty good together. Like, I, I noticed like some fruits that don't go together, but uh, I most of them do, so this will work. Let's uh, make it easier on the blender. I have a facial today, but I almost don't want it because <laughs> I'm too made up now. Okay, so let's 
jar right there. I'll just toss this in there. And there. Easy. See? The the size really does make a difference on it, honestly. Okay. okay. That is not as many dairy foods I wanted, but the patai will make up for it. Do like sometimes I do like half juice, right? Or a little bit of juice, or like half juice, half water for my uh, liquid portion. And that's it. That's like the secret, right? Just that uh, flavor the water a little bit. Like you could do just water um, if you're trying to diet down or um, want less sugar. I do. I do like uh, even the pressed juice, like to mix together. Oh, that's so good. Um, even though the pressed juice on its own is already to go but I think I might I just might add some pressed OJ Why not we got our frozen stuff in there perfect my pushing the envelope actually I put one in there right one of those days <laughs> trying to stay sane during this whole thing. Right? If you forget stuff, I've just been forgiving myself lately because <sighs> you're doing really good <laughs> considering the circumstances. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, if you do one with more seeds, like blackberries, you... For me, I like to blend it longer because I don't like the seeds. Like, I literally will end up spitting out the seeds. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Or um, chia seed. If you use chia seed, if, uh, like you're new to plant based, maybe, maybe you're trying to go vegan, uh, chia seeds. I don't know. I, I would opt, opt for hemp seeds because chia is an acquired taste. Like, because it gets that uh, kind of gooey, right? Like, fabulous for you. I would almost like. I don't know like it really changes the consistency and if you're gonna bring it to work and have it later it's totally gonna change your smoothie I don't like it personally so um, you could add like ground flax in there something like that even like a bit of avocado I feel like I get too much fat in my diet though so I just do the fruit ones like this okay this one's even better because I can really taste the, the pressed OJ blending with everything and it's more frozen so okay you guys are gonna like this one I think um, and in case you're curious and don't know which protein powder is my favorite iron vegan uh, definitely in the chocolate flavor I don't know why but it tastes so much better so I don't know yes the scoop is in this one okay pure scoop okay <laughs> all right so we will go with our banana base just a little bit of banana that's all you need. Okay. And a skew of Iron Vegan. This one's great because, like, I mean, obviously we're going for taste, but uh, vegan protein powder is like, this one says, sprouted brown rice, uh, ripe uh, organic quinoa, uh, sprouted amaranth, millet, pumpkin seed, fair trade cocoa, uh, natural chocolate flavor, and stevia extract. Um, so yeah, like, so cool what they can do. Slap. <laughs> Watch yourself. Yeah, there's so many different plant proteins, honestly. Spinach, so you can get your calcium as well, dark green veggies. Yeah. Okay, anyhow, um, I'm gonna throw some ice in there. Ice clean, so I, uh, I like to use a lot of ice. Go through many trays a day, like everything to be cold, except water. Isn't that weird? <laughs> a lot of times I should just drink regular room temperature water. So maybe. I would add like a nice little 
hint of sweetness actually. Um, yeah, they're all, can I put smoke so great? Like they all are really different. Okay, so I'm gonna go half, no, half of water, and then the final secret ingredient that you need to know. I discovered these from uh, one of the fitness uh, vegan channels that I watch. Um, it's like a stevia flavor pump. So think like the Starbucks syrups, but um, this is like literally stevia from plants. Uh, zero calorie, so you only need like a couple drops. Um, I don't want it too sweet today, so I'm literally just gonna put two drops. Strong stuff. But you want something sweet in there. Oh, guys, best ten dollars you will ever spend. Mm -hmm. The only thing I, I would maybe add besides the, the applesauce, like, I think I've tried that before, it's like okay, um, is like those the green cubes or yeah. Cinnamon, that'd be, ooh, that would be good. I got <laughs> like this curry powder. Ooh, dates. If you uh, soak dates, oh, you guys, I was making like date coffee. It was so, I might have to do a video on that. It was so good. Oh my god, the forgotten, the forgotten fruit, honestly. And it's like, these are almost gone. I did not think I was gonna eat all these. <sighs> um, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of that. Found it. That was very cool. Okay, so we just want like, like a touch of a pinch. That's good. Less is always more. You can always add to it after. So, there we go. Mm, come on, let's try this out. Ooh. Yes. These are straws are everything, by the way. Okay, let's see. I'm not used to taking protein powder, so it's a touch, um, it's just a bit textured. So you can over blend it a little bit. I'm gonna add a touch of water. Oh, I forgot to add the And you can do that the PB2 stuff, that, that's vegan as well, if you are, again, trying to uh, go down on calories. Mm. That's about it. Yum! It tastes like Watery but it's good. I promise it's good. I promise. Mm. Mm. There's like a million combos I could do, honestly. Um, just mango OJ water. That's like a good one. Mm. Berries. Berries and the ooh, berries and chocolate protein butter is like that's a nice one too. Um, I don't know. Is this enough of a video? Do we need to do this again? <laughs> Different. Okay. Anyhow, I gotta go. So, um, yeah, give it a whirl. And uh, stay plant based, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.